Today we need to get into people saying that Hybe stock has plunged or dropped and I have a few things that I want to say about this. We also need to get into people getting upset over the smoking and piercing pictures and what that is about. And then of course we have something that happened with V and a collaborator that has gotten a bit of backlash. So you don't think it's safe to say hate it or not, make sure you're subscribed with the notification bell on. Make sure you join us fangirling on Patreon and let's go. So this first story really infuriated me when I found out about it because this is first-hand example of the community sometimes misunderstanding things and completely just taking things out of context. And sometimes it ends well because there will be people who come to the defense of whoever is affected, but a lot of times it actually doesn't end up this way. So that's why it's infuriating to me. So what is going on here and what is happening? A lot of you might remember a previous collaboration that V did. It wasn't too long ago and he did a song with an artist called Yumi. Yumi is not a huge singer. I believe she is signed, but she is not the most mainstream and her music isn't mainstream either. The point of her music isn't even to be mainstream. So I do want to first off say that while her label might care about things like making a profit and making a lot of money, she herself has mentioned that she typically just cares about creating art that is meaningful to her her, and that she wants her gift to the world to be the meaningful art that she's able to give. And of course, we know that art has healing properties in it, so that can actually be true. Now, just some more backstory on Yumi is that a little while ago, she released a TikTok video where she was in tears and very upset. She was crying about how she is aware that everyone in the industry and all the influential people in the industry, all they care about is making money. And all she wants to do is create art and that's it. I think a lot of us can relate to this. Even if we don't create art, I'm sure there are things that we would like to do that maybe we would consider more meaningful than maybe what we currently do. And if you do find fulfillment in what you currently do, that's amazing, that's awesome. Not everyone does. But a big reason why we tend to not find fulfillment in what we do is because we need money. And honestly, that is just the truth. If we don't have money, we don't live. So I see both sides here. I understand why she would obviously want to create art that's meaningful to her. And I understand why a record label is going to try to maximize profit and not really care so much about the art. After all, the record labels are going to be the ones that are lending out these sort of huge loans, so to speak. And so they expect that the money be paid back in full. Now, why is all this important and why am I bringing it up? Yumi announced that she was going to be having a tour. I'm sure she had a post talking to her own audience, but she also made a post talking specifically to the BTS community and specifically saying that while she goes on tour, she will be singing the song that she did with V for the first time ever. And if any of the army want to go and see her, that they should go and get tickets to go see that specific song get sung. People did not like this for some reason, claiming that she needs to speak to her own audience and the only reason the fandom even went to listen to her was because of V and they're actually not there to listen to her at all. And also continue to talk about how they actually don't like her or her music. But what I am most curious about when I see some of these comments is where are these people coming from? Because if you read the comments, it's clear that these sentences have a lot of grammatical errors. And so I'm wondering exactly if this was like being translated from another language to English, or if this was just like a six year old that is barely learning how to write words because they also have a really weird way of writing sentences. It's not sentences where there's a lot of spelling errors, it's just sentences with a lot of unnecessary words added in that make it seem like it's odd. For example, one of the comments that is specifically saying, please stop calling us, I believe that's what they're trying to say. That is not what someone who knows English well would say. It could even be stop addressing us. That would make a lot more sense. Other people have talked about other times in which she may or may not have addressed the fandom while she is doing something. And I can't say whether she has or hasn't because I don't know or have kept up with those specific posts. But the only times in which it would even make sense for her to address the community would be if she was addressing that particular song because a lot of people actually do want to hear that song being performed live. Now I mentioned earlier that this situation sort of ends in a happier way and sort of because the post did get deleted, but there were people who were bringing up this idea that Yumi is someone who just likes to create art. People were talking about that older TikTok video where she was crying and that sort of stuff. And she even talked about at the end of that video that she wanted to give up and cancel everything and not do it anymore. Yumi is just trying to promote her music and get more people to her show so that she can get them to hear her music. It also comes from this idea that 
annoys me where people who are in the BTS community, some of them will refuse to listen to any other music or give any other music a chance. And it's like, at one point you must have given BTS a chance, hence why you like them so much, so why not give other artists a chance too? I will say that coming after someone who has mentioned these names a couple of times is very sick and disgusting. I really hope that people stop doing that. There has even been some sort of plan that was created where a conversation was happening where people were wondering if Scooter Braun can actually get removed from the label. This was something that I mentioned in a previous video and I'm glad that people are talking about it because if you're going to protest and be angry and want Scooter Braun removed, you have to understand what is the likelihood of that actually happening now. CEOs get very extensive and big severance packages to the point where it can literally be like half a billion dollars. That's right, half a billion with a B. Now the plan of the community is to boycott Hybe and to not buy things or do whatever in order to get the stock to drop. And then because the stock is dropping, the label is going to associate that with Scooter Braun and thus drop Scooter Braun. However, the likelihood of that actually happening is going to be pretty slim to none as the stock really has less to do with the sales of the company. And actually, I really just don't think that this will happen. One point that I brought up before is this idea that if they were to remove Scooter Braun and it's over a religious belief, Scooter Braun can actually sue the label for probably tons more than they can actually even afford. Also, they have to prove that Scooter Braun has actually caused damage to the label when in reality, Jungkook reached new heights of his career with the help of Scooter Braun. Well, wasn't entirely Scooter Braun's doing, absolutely not, but of course he did have a part in Jungkook's success. So by that metric, it actually shows that Scooter Braun has done better for the company than worse. Hybe stock won't drop, it has dropped a little bit since maybe like the last few months or so, however that is normal for any company. If you go and check back at how the stock was when it first started, Hype stock is still much higher than when it first started, which is actually how it's measured. It's not going to be measured on a month to month or a day to day basis, but stock is usually measured from a quarterly or yearly basis. So as we can see, if that plan is to boycott the label and get the stock to go down, given how many months this protest has been going on, given how severe the protests have been going on, we still have yet to see the stock plunge that much. The stock is going to be fine and I don't think Miss the Scooter is going to get removed. Now there's a lot of stuff going on right now and of course with things happening it always leaves room for people to get upset about something because people will get triggered about anything. And I think at this point people are aware that people get upset about anything. And so it's kind of taken in as if you reach enough people, you're going to get some people upset. And if you don't get people upset, you're not reaching enough people. At least this is what people who work in PR say now. So recently for these new songs, he has been dropping a lot of stuff. So there was this short film and then there were some concept photos that have come out. With some of the concept photos coming out, people have seen V with an eyebrow piercing as well as V smoking. So the smoking rumors have been just a rumor up until now as we've seen him allegedly smoke a cigarette at the Grammys, I think. And then other times it has been rumored that he had a jewel or a vape in his hand, but the photos or videos were never really clear enough for us to get a good view as to what is actually in his hand. And now we see that he actually smokes. So a lot of people haven't been happy with this. They think that it doesn't make him out to be a great idol. It makes him look like someone who smokes and that's not great. However, smoking is a very personal choice and with the amount of stress that he goes through, he smokes, it's okay to smoke, it's okay to have these sort of vices. And every single person has these things. They're just not so public. So if you are someone, even as a parent, you might have vices like drinking a lot or smoking or whatever it may be. However, because you can hide those things from your child or because you can pretend like you don't have them, they're suddenly seen as more acceptable. I don't know if there's a psychological study that shows that if a parent smokes or drinks, not in front of the kid, but just like smokes and drinks and the kid happens to see it, that it would result in the kid wanting to do that when they grow up. If it isn't V that is smoking or having a piercing on his eyebrow, then it will be another person that your kid sees either on the street or on TV. People are saying investors would pull out from this or that. They would be upset to see photos like this. But overall, I think a lot of investors are adults and they probably do these things themselves as well. They're not sitting there monitoring every little thing. Bottom line is, if there isn't a huge backlash and it doesn't really affect their own wallets, they're really not going to care what an idol does and they can literally do drugs in the back seat of a car, get arrested, but as long as it doesn't affect the investors' pockets, the investors do not care. They're not going to start protesting or doing that. Let me know what you think. Make sure you check out Patreon for more videos. The link down below. Thanks for this lovely comment right here. Love you, bye.